they're all listed here. Uh, and they go in there. These names we found in the records of the National Archives. And these names were all, they all listed the names of all these guys. They're uh, Dreyfus here. <laughs> you know what? That would be interesting to see. My name is Jim Lighthizer, President of the Civil War Preservation Trust. Well, my perspective, what is interesting about this monument is, it, it, Frank has said, it tells a story that is not well known, and that is nearly 200,000 African Americans fought for their own freedom. And of course, the Civil War is nothing if it isn't a war for African American independence from slavery. Uh, and in fact, it started here in Washington, D.C. in 1862 under President Lincoln's sponsorship when he bought slaves, paid the slave owners for the slaves, got them, literally bought their freedom. But that was just the start, because that idea didn't fly in the rest of the United States, and so it took a great war. And uh, when the African American came, the troops came in, and by the way, they fought all across the theater of the war, which was basically from the Mississippi River East, places like Ross and Bryce's Crossroads, Mississippi, uh, New Market Heights, and near Richmond, Virginia, uh, uh, Morris Island, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, and fought with great distinction. Uh, and that is, Frank has said, is a story that hasn't been much told. Um, whoever you are, you're more complex than you know. Are the result of these men who are represented here, and there are men who are represented here, and slaves and sons of slaves, 300 years before the war started. And you were not born on the year that your parents said you were born. You were born in this struggle. 